Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name's David, and these are the two best marked decks on the planet. All right, so if you've watched my channel for any amount of time, uh, you know that I really like Mark decks. I like uh, Gaff decks, I like Magic Tricks. And so um, I've done a couple reviews for different Mark decks in the past. I even did a top 10 countdown uh, for some of the best of Mark decks. Since that countdown, I've had two other Mark decks come across my desk, and I've had many of you, many of you out there asking me questions about how I think these next two decks compare to the others. And let me just say, I think they're the best two marked decks on the planet, and here's why. First of all, a quick conversation about what would make these the best marked deck, why I think they are. Now, they don't, you don't have to think they are. You don't have to agree with me, okay? This is, this is not a perfect world. You don't have to agree with me. We just have to get along, okay? Just have to get along. So uh, here's, here's, my, here's my criteria, here's why. Uh, number one, they look exactly like the deck of cards that every single person has grown up with their entire lives, okay? Uh, granted, they're not available in blue, but they are available in red, and I think red is probably the most popular color of a deck of cards. Now, you and I both know that the world is used to a writer back deck. They're used to the 808s. These aren't 808s, they're not writer backs, but to the layman who doesn't know any different, they're gonna look exactly like it. They're not gonna look like any custom gaff. They're not gonna be scratched or aged or, you know, some weird back design or some weird name. It's not gonna say, you know, bicycle across the front. It says bicycle. It says what everyone is familiar with looks like a deck of cards that everyone is familiar with. Now, they're not rider backs, but they are alternatives to the rider back. Now, the reason why they're not rider backs is right now, uh, United States Playing Card Company is very protective over their back design. It is a trademark back design, and uh, they just don't allow you to make any sort of modifications to that back design other than just a standard color change. And so there are other decks out there that are very similar in style that give the same appearance and would fly right past somebody with the untrained eye. The first of which is the mandolin back. Now the mandolin back is just like it sounds. It's a person holding a mandolin, an angel, right? I'm an angel holding a mandolin. And the mandolin shape is kind of roundish on the bottom. So it does kind of look like the bicycle tire. Everything else looks exactly the same. Uh, and I think, again, it's gonna fly right by someone who's not paying attention. The second deck is the Maiden back. Now the two uh, almost are interchangeable. If you look at the back, again, it's an angel. She's standing upright, her arms are outspread. But again, if you weren't looking for that bicycle, the person, you know, that little guy riding the bike, uh, it, again, it's gonna fly right by somebody who's just not paying attention. All right, so you have two different designers out there that have released these two decks in marked deck form, and I'm gonna tell you what they are right now. All right, so your first one is the Maiden Back. Now, the Maiden Back are the marked cards, and they're exclusively available at penguinmagic.com. Now, one of the reasons why is because, well, Penguin Magic releases them, and uh, if you purchase through them, then you get the video downloads. And really, those video downloads are only available through their uh, checkout system. You're gonna get two different videos, and uh, both of which cover all the ins and outs of using marked cards. And so, uh, it, it's, it's an awesome tutorial, awesome instruction, and the best thing about this is, these are nine bucks. Nine bucks for a single deck of marked cards, making these one of the cheapest uh, marked decks you can buy on the planet, especially since they are so familiar looking, so reliable looking. At nine bucks a deck, this is really your staple deck. This is gonna be your workhorse deck that you're gonna have people sign. You know, they can autograph it. You can do it. Card you can do card work with them, tear them up. Who cares? You know, for nine dollars a deck, plus if you buy a brick, get this, if you buy a brick, a brick's only $60. That makes these decks five dollars a piece. Only five dollars a piece, uh, that's the best way to go right there. I mean, just hands down. Uh, there's so much you can do with a marked deck. And think about, uh, replace every single card trick you currently do with regular cards, replace it with a marked deck, and you're gonna see just how much more magical your tricks are gonna become. I mean, sometimes, you know, you forget what you know the card was. Uh, sometimes your spectator forgets what the card was. Uh, there's lots of little things that can go wrong, but with a marked deck, it's almost like you have a backup for your backup, you know? And Penguin Magic has made the marked deck finally, finally affordable and available and trusted and just awesome. All right, so the second one, which is the Mandolin back, that is gonna be the Marksman deck. Now the Marksman deck is through Luke Germay and Vanishing Incorporated, and you can probably find these from a couple of different 
uh, retailers, including uh, foreign and domestic. Now, this deck is a little bit more. It's $35. $35 because it comes with almost two hours of video performance and instruction. Uh, plus, there's a PDF. There's a whole bunch of stuff uh, that Luke has included with this. So you're just getting a, just a pile of tutorial information. And plus, you're getting all of Luke's just wonderful routines. And some of these routines are just absolutely insane. Mind-boggling, all mentalism. You're going to learn how to find your current card. You're going to learn how, learn how to find the card above it. Uh, you're going to know the position of any card in the stack. You're also going to know like when the spectator cuts the cards. You're going to know how many cards are in their hand. Plus, you're going to know how many red cards are in their hand. Plus, you could also do the combined total of all the values that they're holding as well. So Luke has just given you just an insurmountable amount of just forward and backward awesome magic tricks you can do with this. Tons of different ideas. Like I said, $35, a little bit more expensive, obviously, but uh, Luke and Vanishing Incorporated have said that replacement decks will soon be available at a more affordable price. So be on the lookout for those. Now, as far as cut, handling, paper stock, all that, yada yada, there's no bells and whistles here. You know, there's no, there's no extras, it's not crushed stock, it's not traditional cut, anything like that, because all of those extras, they end up making the decks cost more money. And what these two different publishers wanted to do was create a deck of cards that you'd want to use over and over and over again with no fear of uh, ruining it that you could buy another one to replace it. You know, um, I got two of the Marksman decks, even though they're 35 bucks, I got two just because it was awesome to have that much power at your fingertips and knowing that I could have one in play and then have one in my pocket you know, as a backup. Uh, so these are made to be your workhorse decks. Like I said, use them, sign them, tear them. Uh, there really aren't any better marked decks out there. I'm sorry, you could argue uh, in the comment section below, but you're just not going to convince me. Easily the two best marked decks on the planet. Go out, look for them, add them to your magic routines today, and just you're going to see just uh, a wow, a, a wow factor added. You're gonna start doing miracles. Uh, be on the lookout for both of these. Highly recommended. Thanks, bye.